Alright, so if you have watched the vowels video, then you will be easy to understand. You will be easy to able. You will be easy able. You will able. In this video, we're gonna be solving exercise seven of Batman shorthand. Alright, before starting, I would like to tell you that if you don't know about vowels, how vowels work in Batman shorthand. Then I would just highly recommend you that you watch the vowels video of the Pitman shorthand course. I have given the link in the description. Alright, so uh, otherwise you won't be able to understand this exercise, how to do this exercise. Alright, so let's move on. So <coughs> starting on the first line. Uh, first, if once we have these words, you can see that we have a lot of words here. So what we have to do in this exercise, we have to uh, write all these words in to Pitman shorthand. Alright, so first we have this pay word. So it, if we pronounce this word, it goes like pay. So if you notice here, we have a a vowel, okay, which we have a sound is coming. So uh, which is similar to this one as because if you pronounce this may, may and pay, we have a sound in both the words. All right. So pay, may, the a vowel is simply denoted by this high dot, right? And the words will be written on the line. All right. So. If you have already watched the vowels video of the Pitman shorthand course, then you must be understanding this better what we are doing here. All right, so let's make this word P. Uh, let's make this word P. So first uh, we have this P character, then we have this A vowel. So first we will make P simply like this. Then we will put a high dot which is A vowel like this on the second place. All right. So this is our word called as P in Pitman shorthand. Let's move to the next one. We have this word pronounced as paid so again a vowel a sound is coming so here also we will be putting a high dot as a a vowel like in may all right so first we have this p character then we have this a vowel then we have this d all right so uh, first we make p like this then we add a vowel a high dot like this a vowel then we attach the d D character which is a dark stroke like this all right so this is our word paid right and uh, you have to keep one thing here in mind that uh, when while making this word P we first made this P character then we removed our pencil or pen from the paper then we again put our pencil back on the uh, paper then we made this uh, this high dot then we again uh, put put off our pencil from the paper then we put our uh, pencil back on the paper to make this character D so it's a little bit slow so I'm doing this just to make you understand right just to show you that how all this works so that you can understand this better that's why I am doing this very slowly all right that's why I'm, I'm telling you that first make this P then first we have this P so write P then we have this A so write this A vowel then we have this D then write D but in reality when when you are a little bit experienced in Pitman shorthand writing you will be making the paid word like this first make P then D then put this vowel so here uh, you see the, in this and this the difference in this while making this character and in this character is that here we first made this P then we put off our pencil then we made this high dot then we made this D so this is a little bit uh, this this uh, while making this character it's taking time so we don't have to follow this one this method while this one is right because here we first made P then D then we have to uh, put our pe pencil off only for the one time or only for once then we put this dot so I'm making I'm doing this only just to make you understand so that you can understand this better that's why I'm uh, taking each characters individually right so you have to keep this thing in mind that when you are experienced in Petman shorthand writing, you have to uh, make sure that you take very less time. Okay, you should take uh, as less time as you can while making the characters or f words. All right. So let's move to the next one first. We have this uh, word called bay. So it's bay again. We have this a vowel. So first we have this b. Uh, first we make this b uh, b character like this. Then we put a simple a vowel, a high dot like this. So it's our word b. Let's move to the next. It's bait. So again b, then again a vowel. Then we have this additional t now. So first b. All right. Then a vowel. This is on the line. So let's okay. Okay. This high dot. Then we have this additional t. So 
attach t which is last which is a light stroke like this so this is our word bait right let's move to the next we have this word pronounced as t so first t then a vowel so t then a vowel so t now let's move to the next this is t a m e or this is pronounced as tame so first we have t then again a vowel then we have this m now in this word so first make t then put this vowel a vowel then make this m so this is our word word tame all right but in speed while when you will be making in speed you will be you will make tame tame word like this all right so this one i made this one slowly just to show just to uh, make you understand better that's why uh, i'm doing this i'm taking this each character slowly first we made first we made t character then we put this a, a vowel then in then uh, we made this m character all right uh, so this was this wasn't in speed when you are in writing speed you will simply make like this all right <clears throat> let's do this one more time uh, <clears throat> just to make you understand first i made t then i put vowel then i made this m all right but in speed when you are in when you are experienced in pitman shorthand you will make team like this all right so here we put here we put our pencil off the paper only for once all right but here we uh, put our pencil off the paper for the two times all right so uh, this is only this one is only for the learning purpose and this one is for the experience purpose okay when you are experienced in pitman shorthand writing all right so we are done with the first line let's move to the <coughs> second line okay this word we have this word pronounced as say so again a vowel we are the a sound is coming all right so we will again use this high dot so first we have this s character so simply write s like this make s like this then we put a high dot like this so this is our word say all right so let's move to this one this one we have this uh, word pronounced as essay essay so first we have this a a vowel you see a which is uh, similar to this one as in pen right so we have a light dot here right so we use light dot uh, to, to 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 denote this uh, a vowel so we will be making a light dot then we have this s character after that we have this a because it goes like essay so here we have this light dot then we have this high dot right and here we have s right so first make light dot like this then make s then put a high dot like this so this is our word essay right and in speed you will be making like this right okay let's move to the next this is esk pronounced as esk so again we have a vowel which is a light dot all right so and then after that we are first we have this a vowel then we have s and k so uh, we we make high, uh, light dot like this and s then k so it's esk all right let's move to the next we have this esk escape right so uh, the starting part is similar to this esk so we made a then s then k then this a vowel then we have p so it's simple like this all right so this is we put a, a light dot like this so this is a then we have s then we have this k character and we also put a high dot like this to denote the a vowel and then this final p so this is our a vowel then we have s then we have this k then we have this a vowel all right so till now it goes like s k all right s k till here part it goes like s k then we have this final p so it's escape all right we're done with this let's move to the next word this one okay this one is sounded as low all right so low so we have this o vowel we have this o sound coming from this word so o sound is very similar to to the to to this one as in go so if you notice here that we have this high dash here okay so high uh, high dash is denoted by i mean o is denoted by this high dash o vowel o sound 
all right so first we make this l like this then we simply put high dash like this so it's low all right so let's move to the next this one we have load so now first l then o vowel then we have this d so load like this all right this is l then this is o vowel then we have this additional d all right all right so <clears throat> now uh, let's see let's see here now i'm going uh, we're not be making this like this like suppose this word load so now we're we're not be making the load word like this first l then o then then d all right because it's a little bit time consuming because we have already uh, seen how to make this word so that's why i was doing this slowly just to make you understand now we will be making all the characters like this load right so this winner is a little bit fast so that this was just to make you understand all right we will be uh, uh, using this method uh, from here right because we have already seen how to do this exercise so let's move to the third one now we have this <coughs> word pronounced as show all right show so again o o sound is coming which is o vowel as in low as in go so high dosh we will be putting high dash high dosh high dash here also all right so first we have ish then o vowel so first we make ish like this then put a high dash like this so it's show all right next move to the next one this is showed so first we have this ish then o then additional d so simply make showed word like this all right then i put a, a dash a high dash like this so this is ish this is ish then we have o o vowel which is a high dash then we have this additional <coughs> d so it's showed let's move to the next this one is very simple it's simply fo so first f then o vowel so first make f like this then put high dash which is o vowel simply like this on the second place all right and let's move to the next we have this foam all right so foam again this o f then f then o vowel then we have this m right now m this time so f foam all right this way first f o vowel so and then m all right so it's foam let's move to the next we have may so may is very simple because we already have a vowel may all right so first we make m then simply put a high dot like this because m a may is almost similar not similar it is exactly as may vowel all right so this is may then we have this word make so m make like this so this is m then we have a vowel which is a high dot then you have this final k so it's make all right let's move to the fourth line now fourth line all right it's way all right so first we have this way then a vowel so first we make way like this then we put a high dot because it sounded as a as in may so this way let's move to the next we have this wade so way then a vowel then we have this d so wade like this right this is wade all right let's move to the next we have this eight so again a vowel then we have first we have this a vowel then we have this t so simply first we will put a high dot on the t before the t like this okay this is a, a then this is t so eight all right let's move to the next this is etna okay etna so first we have this a vowel a, a vowel and then we have this t okay then we have this n then we have this a a is very similar to the pa so first make we will make etna like this all right 
so this is uh, we have light dot which is a vowel then we have this t all right then we have this n and then we have put a high dot pa all right and on the first place right so because here we see this pa and this is on the first first place all right we have to uh, we have to put the <coughs> this high dot on the first place all right so if you have watched the vowels video then you will be easy to understand you will be easy to able you will be easy able you will able you will be able to understand this easily what's going on here all right let's move to the next we have this word sounded as nay so n then a vowel so it's simply like this all right now let's move to the next this is name so name will be made like this because this is n then we have this a vowel then we have this final m all right so that was all about it i'll see you in the next video